Now this is the story of God providing water from the rock and a victory over the Amalekites for the Israelites. It's coming from Exodus 17. The whole Israelite community, they set out from the desert of Sin. They traveled from place to place as the Lord commanded them, and they camped at Rephidim, but there was no water there for them to drink. And they quarreled against Moses, saying, Give us water to drink. And Moses said, Why do you quarrel with me, and why do you put the Lord to the test? But the Israelites, they were thirsty, and they said to Moses, Why have you brought us out of Egypt into this desert? so that we and our children and our livestock would die of thirst. And Moses said to the Lord, he didn't know what to do, so he said to the Lord, what should I do with the Israelites? They are ready to stone me. And the Lord told Moses, take some of the elders of Israel and walk ahead of the people, and I will stand on the rock at Horeb, and you are to take the staff with which you struck the Nile and strike the rock, and I will make water come out for the people to drink. And Moses did this in the sight of the Israelite elders. And uh, Moses called the place Massa and Meribah because there the Israelites quarreled with the Lord and they put the Lord to the test saying, is the Lord with us or not? Now at Rephidim, the Amalekites attacked the Israelites. So Moses told Joshua, to choose or select some of the Israelite men to go out and fight against the Amalekites. And Moses would go up on top of the hill the next day with the staff of God in his hand. So jo um, Joshua chose his men and went off to fight against the Israelites, and Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. Now, as long as Moses was raising his hands, the Israelites were winning the battle, but when his arms dropped and were tired, the Amalekites were winning. So they took a stone for Moses to sit on. Moses sat on it, and Aaron held up Moses' hand on one side, and Ur held up Moses' hand on the other side, and they held Moses' hands up, and they were steady till sunset. So Joshua won or overcame and won the battle against the Amalekites with the sword. And the Lord told Moses to write this down on a scroll to be remembered, and he was to make sure that Joshua heard this because the Lord would blot out forever the memory of Amalek. And Moses called the place, the Lord uh, is my banner, because there he said that hands were lifted up to the throne of the Lord, and the Lord fought would fight against or make war against the Amalekites from, for generation, from generation to generation. And this is the story coming from Exodus 17.